So, the Indianapolis Colts have just lost one of their best defensive players for the year. Samson Ebukam goes down with torn Achilles in training camp. Very unfortunate, but it, you, always, you have to look at it from the positive side that we have other young guys, a lot of, we have a very, very young defensive line. And don't get me wrong, it sucks when one of your best defensive players go down. Samson, Samson Ebukam is one of the most explosive defensive players the Colts have had in a while. Very explosive, knows how to get off the edge, knows how to pressure the quarterback and make the opposing quarterback feel very uncomfortable. And unfortunately, we're going to lose we're going to be losing him, but I mean, lot to lot to and quit pay. That means both of them are going to get lots and lots and lots of playing time, as all three of them were. But now it's mainly going to be lot to lot to and quit pay on the edges. Where you do have Dayo, Taekwon Lewis can even play an outside a little bit. Maybe this can give Titus Leo a chance to step up in a way. We have a deep defensive line, whether you're talking the interior or outside. DeForest Buckner sometimes kicks out to the outside. You have a lot of guys that are very Aitamua, Adadea. This is going to be his time to maybe step up, maybe fight away to get more playing time. I mean, it hurts. It does because this defensive line had hot, very high hopes, very deep depth. And, depth. and you know, it hurts a little bit, but everything's going to be okay. You know, we still have some really talented guys. If this was any other year, probably would be pretty concerning but it's not any other year. This is a year that we actually have defensive line depth. We actually have more guys than just the two, and usually we don't even have two consistent guys. Usually we don't have two guys that can get after the quarterback. And now we're still going to have that. Quiddy Pay is getting better. I think Quiddy Pay hopefully is going to take a step up this year. He really needs to. Being a former first-round pick hasn't really reached that first-round potential yet. If that makes sense. He hasn't reached his ceiling. And that's that's a good thing. Good to hear. You know, he can still get better. He's very good in the run game. Very good at stopping the run. Passing game is a little more limited, but he's good. He's good at getting up to the quarterback. He's not great. Let's see if he get great this year. And Latu La Latu, La La young kid out of UCLA. He is very explosive. He's like he's he's more explosive than Samson Ebercom. <laughs> which is everything you need to know. And you get after the quarterback, he can pressure the quarterback. He's very similar to Samson. That would come in a lot of ways, just a little better, I think. So doesn't really have the experience, and he's not, uh, and he, and he's not established. So that's that's the only thing he doesn't have on his side, which are two very important and huge things when it comes to comparing players. But and losing a player on the edge like that, it's, it sucks, because this is a guy that has had a pretty good career and. You know, we're not paying him a ton of money either. Now, one thing I do want to ask, I'm a little confused about, is why is he not going to be back sooner? They're saying he's out for the year, right? And, you know, Aaron Rodgers could have came back last year towards the end of the year. He didn't. There's no point in just for all the playoff race and this and that. And, you know, by him being older, it's not really hit, worth him going out there and risking it. Why can't Sam? I mean, I mean, it's still a month away from the season, a month and a week. So... Why wouldn't he be able to return within, you know, maybe in the last month? Maybe the beginning of the last month of the season. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know too much about that medical stuff. But, I mean, Aaron Rodgers, he would have been able to be back by the end of the year. He would have been able to, be back, to, to have been back. But Ebukam can't. I think I think Ebukam might be back if he gets that kind of surgery and goes through that. Um, whatever Aaron Rodgers did, maybe he's got a shot. And just getting a fresh set of legs in the defense line late in the season would be absolutely incredible. Would be awesome if we were to make the playoffs and if we were to get a wild card spot. But we have a long way to go, man. We have a long way to go. We have a lot of work to do. Anthony Richardson has a boatload of work to do. Uh, we're we're going to see. We're going to see what he's got when it comes to preseason, the games, all that. Can he stay healthy? Is he going to go down? Don't be looking for contact. Don't be looking to get hit. Go down, live, fight to live another down, fight to live the next down, live to play another down. That's what I'm looking for right there. And But Samson has become, yeah, him going down with the torn Achilles and training camp, it hurts, it sucks. He's a very good player, very explosive on the defensive line. We are losing an explosive piece on the chessboard on defense. You know, very explosive. He come off the edge against the run, he's good. He, he, he He's awesome. And it sucks that he's going to go down. And we're not going to have it for the year. It's, it's it's another depth piece taken away. Still, like I said, we still have guys with potential. We still have some depth there. So I'm not I'm not too concerned about it. I'm not very concerned. So yeah. 
but yeah, you guys let me know what's your concern level. If I had to put mine on a concern level from 1 to 10, it'd be right in the middle of 5, maybe 6. Because he is a very good player. Very good player. He's, he's one of our best defensive players. And now that he's down, we're down one of our best players. It's, it's just as simple as that. But still a 5 or 6 because we have some decent depth. Thank God. Thank gosh. We drafted Lot to Lot to. If we did not draft him, I I don't know. I I would be really worried about the other end of Quiddy Pay and just pass rush in general, other than Buckner and you know I wouldn't have to worry about the interior. Of course not. Grove and Buck are probably one of the best duos, if not the best, are definitely up there in the defensive line. But hey, you know what? Samson Abukum Abukam goes down for the season. I want to hear you guys' thoughts. Hear what you guys think on a scale from one to ten. What is your worriness at? Is it at 5? Is it at 1? Is it at 10? Um, let me know. I'm interested to hear. I want to hear your thoughts and your take on the situation. Who's, who do you think is going to step up? Of course, we have Latu Latu. Who's going to step up other than Quiddy Pay and Latu Latu? I want to hear your guys' thoughts in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe. Put the post notification bell on so you don't miss any future videos. And yeah, that's it. I'll catch you guys next time.